And the good thing about selling loads of guitars is you can buy loads more. Not one, not two. No, it's one, two, three, four, five, and one over there in a bin bag. <laughs> it's not, honestly, it's not the best presented guitar I've ever had delivered. I won't be needing me, me butter knife for this one, because those wacky Germans don't even use tape. It's like a big Amazon box, isn't it, really? And I have no idea how to open it, so I'm, I'm improvising here. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> I'm excited about this one, strangely excited about this one. If you spend enough time looking at guitar pole online, like I do, this stuff comes along. Hello, thanks for joining us. Welcome to the Guitaristas. Well, you do like an unboxing, don't you? So today, not one, not two. No, it's one, two, three, four, five, and one over there in a bin bag. Six guitars to, to unbox, unbag. No, he's in a box, but the bag's over it. You'll see in a minute, I'll show you. Um, yeah, new guitars. N new guitars day, I've called this, I think. New guitars day. Because obviously, last month I sold loads of guitars. And the good thing about selling loads of guitars is you can buy loads more. So clearly that's what I'm doing at the moment. I've bought, um, I bought eight new guitars in the last couple of weeks now. Eight, and there's six of them. One of them I've already unboxed on the TV channel last week. I'll show you what that is later, okay? And there's another one that I'm going to unbox this weekend, probably on the TV channel. So, you know, go over there and check that out if you want a sneak preview of that. I will be reviewing it on the channel here as well, if, obviously. Sorry, I can't talk today. I'm, I'm quite excited, obviously, because I've got guitars to look at. And I haven't seen these yet. I've been patiently waiting. So I'm going to stop talking and just get stuck in. Links are in the description box. If you, but I'm going to. I'm not going to tell you what the guitars are. I'm just going to say one box one, box two, da da da. So um, you know, don't cheat. You know, settle down. I don't know how long it's going to take. Probably at least half hour, I would have thought. So go and put the kettle on. Get yourself a nice cup of tea or something a little bit stronger and some nibbles and come back and join me. The butter knife of joy, as we now call it, is ready. Let's open some boxes. Yeah, let's get stuck in. Right, here we go. Six guitars, all bought and paid for with my own money, sourced locally here in Europe from, from different places, all from different places, each one from a different place here in Europe. Nothing from the States for obvious reasons because the shipping costs. So, but hopefully, you know, it's re some of these will be relevant and you can get them in the States for when we review them. But anyway, that's getting ahead of ourselves a little bit. Let's open the boxes and see what we bought, shall we? I'm going to start with this one. This one, as you can see, is from Toman. I want to start with this because it's so light. I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised if there weren't even a guitar in here, to be honest with you. Um, so let's open it and find out. Now, I won't be needing me me butter knife for this one because those wacky Germans don't even use tape. This, this fragile tape, I actually put that on there for effect. Uh, it's actually got staples. Hang on. You, oh, let's do that so you can at least see me ripping the box open with the staples. There you go. <laughs> Oh, it's double box. Is it double box? I don't know. It's going to be messy, this, so um, we'll whiz through the messy bits. Oh, here. Ah. That's the trouble with these bloody staples. Danger. Here we go. You will have, you will have guessed this. You will have guessed, wouldn't you? Of course you did. Toman. It's Toman... Own brand, Harley Benton. I've spoken about what this is for. The, uh, making a series of what this is all about and why I got this on the channel. 
And uh, this is actually a result of uh, insomnia. <laughs> 3 a.m. I woke up one morning. I thought, I need to stop buying guitars <laughs> for the channel. That thing I said I'd do. Well, this is the first one. What is it? Shut up, Cole. What is it? There's a lead. <laughs> Don't get a cheap plastic lead with every guitar, do you? You get that with Epiphones, do you? Not even trying, are they? Holly Benton's always... Well, they're quite exciting. I've had a few, couple. I've not had this type. But I've had a couple and they've always been mightily impressive. I definitely scratched myself on that staple. Damn Germans. They are German, aren't they, Taman? It's uh, Sorry if I'm calling you German and you're not. I'm sure you are. Giving you staples. Right, come on. Ooh. Oh my. Oh my, Mrs. <laughs> you can feel straight away how over-engineered it is. There you go. It is... Very well packed. It's that. It's a... Hang on, let me look. It's a, a TE62 LPD Deluxe. It's a T-style with binding. It landed in the UK at £145. That's guitar number one. Obviously, we're not going to have time to go into very much detail on each of these guitars today. Needless to say, it's sparkly. I didn't know it was going to be sparkly. It's blue. I don't know what they call that blue. It's sparkly blue. It's got a rosewood. It's not rosewood, is it? It's probably Indian laurel or whatever. <laughs> we'll go through all that properly when we review this guitar, which will be uh, an episode all of its own coming soon. There you go. VT series, it says there. I might have got the model name wrong, but that's what I got from the website. And it's got, I think it's got a roasted maple neck. Well, well, that looks and it's a good start. Guitar number one. Right, for guitar number two, a little closer to home, those PMT boys who, uh, fun fact, actually started, PMT started here where my studio is in South End. Not not here, but in South End. Not very far from here. By um, a couple of guys that I know from before they started PM2. They've sold it now. They're loaded now. I think they're on the Costa del Sol or something like that. Lording it up. But anyway, PMT is still here. As you can see, they don't use staples. They still use plastic. Sticky tape, so you know, not all, not, not massively bothered about sustainability, I suppose. Sorry, I'm just talking bollocks today, aren't I? Let's open it. <laughs> I think there might be a guitar in here as well. And here, it's a PMT Antiquity, PMT's own brand guitar. Can you see, can you see what's happening here? Get a sense of the direction we're going with this. Oh, look. Well, they've taken a, a leaf out of 
Harley Benton's book, or <laughs> could be as hmm, could be a very similar guitar. Let's see. Same kind of box, isn't it? I mean, what we don't know, or you might, but what I don't know is where where these guitars are, what factory these guitars are made in. So, what I wanted to do was get a bunch and compare. Yeah, here you go. This one is it's a, it's a similar looking thing. I think they're all going to be pretty similar. These. This is the uh, TL1, the Antiquity TL1. This one was uh, came in at 179 pounds, actually. So a little bit more pricey. Again, a uh, rosewood style board, and I was trying to get because I'm going to compare this and the Harley Benton and maybe some others. <laughs> so I wanted to get the similar styles to make it um, an authentic comparison. There you go. Guitar number two. We'll review this on its own in due course. See what it sounds like. See what it's like under there and all that. Um, but um, let's see what else we got first. Um, there you go. Antiquity TL1 Dark Rosewood. Now, I don't want this to be too predictable. Keep you on your toes. So this is um, something a little bit different, this. Different level. And uh, this one here, hang on. <laughs> this one here came from um, a shop in the UK called Bonner's in Eastbourne, I think. And as you can see, Bonner's... <laughs> Bonner's wrap their guitars in old bin bags, basically. Um, it's not... Honestly, it's not the best presented guitar I've ever had delivered. <laughs> you, see, you see that delivery man struggling up the drive with a bin bag. Oh, I'll tell you what, though, it's a tough one. <laughs> I might need to actually need a sharp knife for this. Well, I'm just going to struggle with this for a minute. I'd say that's a win for the Germans and their stapled boxes. Right. You, you are never... In a million years, gonna guess what this is. And I'm strangely excited about this one. Cool, look, the, I mean, it didn't even take the box down. Crazy. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> Look at that. It's a PRS SE. Bloody hell. Okay, let's show you which one. So, um, if you've been watching the channel for a while, you might recall that I've mentioned loads of it on, on every occasion possible. I'm not a fan of PRS guitars. I'm not a fan of PRS. The look, it's the look. And um, I suppose also because um, I'm, I'm a little bit older than PRS. <laughs> PRS were, was in the 80s, I think, wasn't it? And by that time, you, you know, the, the big brands it was in my blood, you know. And PRS came along and they were pointy and flash. It's just not my style of guitar. <laughs> you want to see this, don't you? So I've... I've I've never bought one. Well, I'm, I'm lying because, hang on, I'll quickly show you this. Just before Christmas, I traded, I took this in a part X for, 
for one of my other guitars at my local music emporium. And um, but it's an older one. This is a 2005 SE, and I've I've subsequently discovered that it's got replacement pickups, Tone Rider, Tone Rider pickups. I think they are. It's it looks to be a very good guitar, but <laughs> I just hate the look of it. I just hate this. I just hate the look of it. I don't like the shape. I don't like the look. Although the the, the moon inlays are a, a definite improvement. So I fancied one of these for a bit. And uh, at last now, it means I don't have to review this because <laughs> I won't give it a fair crack of the whip. I'll just flip it. So this is going to be on reverb if you fancy it. And instead, we'll be reviewing this. What I actually bought with real money, and it weren't, we weren't that cheap. It's a nice little soft case. Your PRS aficionados we go, oh yeah, you always get a nice case of PRS. Do you? <laughs> What's this? Oh, it's got a big old lump of foam or something protecting the weird shaped headstock. I do think the PRS headstock's a bit well, I know, it, I know it's, a, it's a better design and all that, but I'm not a fan of it, shape-wise. Function over form? I think probably they try and do both, but there you go. I mean, it, this, this, it could only be this one for me, I think. <laughs> it's the SE DGT. As you can see, um, where's my whammy bar? Somewhere, hopefully, in that box. Well, there you go. This is my first PRS, and it's about the best looking one I could see. I mean, there are some. It's the plain, I, I just like plain colours. I'm not a big fan of flamey guitars, and most PRSs are just gaudy. Anyway, we'll get into that when we review it. There you go. <laughs> I've bought a PRS, and it hasn't got birds. So, you know, I'm not making too much of a, a you know, compromise. Not making too much of a compromise. I've bought a PRS. Let's review it. It's probably brilliant. It might not be. It might be shit. <laughs> we'll find out in due course. There you go. Guitar number three. A PRS. Okay, over to Anderton's now in um, Guildford in Surrey. You all know Anderton's. Global. Global brand, and I do think they ship to the States as well. In fact, I know they ship to the States, so you could get one if you, if you fancy paying the shipping costs. Shall we see what it is? Nice paper, sustainable tape. Well done, Captain. I like the paper tape because the, the butter knife of joy has no issues. Oh. I spoke too soon. <laughs> I really do need a sharp knife. I'll just rip it open. Right. Here we go. What's in the box? Nice bit of packing. <laughs> it's like pull a rabbit out of a hat. I've used that gag before, actually. <laughs> it was too good to not use again. Well, I think so. Upside down. Here we go. It's a East Coast. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Proudly designed in the UK. I need my butter knife again. These boxes are diddy. <laughs> diddy, it's tiny. It's an old English word that I, 
think Ken Dodd invented that word. Let's get this out. There you go. Oh, we've got the um, we've got the captain's checklist of approval. There you go. It's an East Coast. Hang on, let's get the box out of the way. It's it's the Anderton's own brand. Yeah, it's another tea style, of course, in keeping with the other two. The 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 HB and the um I forgot what it was already, antiquity. There you go. This is the East Coast Anderton's own brand T1, they call this. It's a nice colour. Again, a, a rosewood style bald, i.e. non-maple. For um for continuity with those other two, because this will be in that roundup as well. Now this was cheap. This was ninety-nine pounds this one. So um oh got go no knob tip. Okay. Don't know if you have to buy that as an extra or it's missing somewhere. There you go. Oh put that back on. It might be in the um there it is. It's there. They pack the knob tip separately with the Allen key. There you go. I'll um, leave that off now. There you go. That's the East Coast T1 in sort of a vintage white, isn't it? Guitar number four. Right, we'll go straight for the, the Bax Music one. This is guitar number five. And then number six will be a shocker, okay? This one you might guess. Um, now I'm not sure. Backs. I don't think they. I think they're um, UK. They're not non 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 UK. I think they're non UK based. Uh, European. Uh, as much as UK isn't really considered by many as in Europe. Anyway, anyway they use a, an innovative, <laughs> different type of. Packing, no staples and no tape. They use like a like a pre. It's like an Amazon, like a big Amazon box, isn't it? Really. And I have no idea how to open it, so I'm I'm improvising here. Can you tell? <laughs> no, Cole. We had no idea. No, no, no. I can't. Uh, this is just troll. Faisley. Of course, it's a Faisley. I said I was been saying I'm going to get a Faisley for bloody ages. There's a book on guitar maintenance that comes with it. That will come in handy. And here we go. Oh, this one comes in a soft case as well, and the de rigueur cheap shit plastic lead. I was thinking, I remember getting a cheap shit plastic lead like that with my first guitar when I was about 13, 13 years old, and it cost £14. Pound. Um, I think it's fair to say that the quality of beginner guitars has improved immensely in those years but for some reason or other the, the quality of cheap shit plastic lead has remained the same anyway you get a look a soft case that's a bonus didn't expect that so this of course will be another and the final one for today a, affordable tea style uh, pretty affordable. Get that out of the way. I mean, nope. It's got a graph tech nut. All of these will be reviewed. I was going to say properly. Well, by me. <laughs> if you want to see a proper review, you know, probably won't find it here. Right. Oh, it's a nice colour. Oh, is it? Oh, no. I don't know about that. <laughs> it looked good through that. It's weird. 
again it's got this I, I think that I would guess that they come from all come from the same factory I don't know if that's true but that's what I was kind of saying earlier oh that's a weird looking thing um, what's this model hang on yeah this is the Faisley uh, Outlaw series this is a Coyote basic SS or, or something like that this is a fairly Cheap one, 90 pounds, Outlaw, Coyote, basic. Yeah, it does seem pretty basic, that. Okay. It's guitar number five. It's a Faisley. And here we are at guitar number six already. Um, you'll never guess... In a million years, what this is. And I know it says Fender on there, but I can assure you it ain't a Fender. This one came via um, a guitar pawn, a late night search, bargain deal pops up, and you go, what the fuck? I have to, you know, <laughs> this from Coda Music in, um, in Stevenage in the UK. And I've I've actually bought a few guitars from them because they every now and then just come up with crazy prices. My um, SG faded, sixty one faded. I've got it's like five hundred quid off on that, twenty five percent off, wasn't it? And this is um, this is not a Gibson, but let me show you what it is. It's another one of their super sell off prices that. <laughs> if you spend enough time looking at guitar porn online like I do this stuff comes along and I've been saying I'm going to get one of these I've been promising actually to get one of these and it's 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 the first of first of this brand that I've ever had and it and it will inspire, well, you get a guitar like this and it's easy to, to know where you're going to go with the playing demo or where you're going to try and, where you're going to try and go with the playing demo. Okay. I'm excited about this one, strangely excited about this one. I mean, it's a, a, it is a sell-off, sold as seen, so I'm not sure if it's been knocking around for a while or it might. It doesn't say X-Display or anything, but just going to pop the seals before I flip it over and reveal. Oh, you've seen it on the thing already. <laughs> yeah. Ah, damn, I thought I was being clever then. Unlikely. It's a Kramer. <laughs> Made to rock hard. Yeah. I paid £199 for this. And I think the retail price on it was about 350 So it was enough to, for me to take notice. Let's get it out and show you what it is. Whammy bar. Obviously. It's a Kramer Pacer. Look at that. Floyd Rose. <laughs> can you believe it? I, can't, I can hardly believe it. It's a cool looking guitar, isn't it? Um, with... Um, yeah, well, this is a first for me. Never had a, never had a Kramer. I've never had a Floyd Rose before. Never, never had one of these. Locking. I'm gonna to have to find out all about this stuff uh, before I review it. There you go, bargain. Yeah, it's gonna need a little bit of fret work on the end there. I could feel that for sure. But it's um, it's cheap and cheerful. Um, oh look, he's got, he's got. It's got Alan Keys. 
locked on the back of the headstock. Wow. <laughs> well, that's a thing, isn't it? Guitar number six, Kramer Pacer. Look at that. So there you go. That's some of the stuff that's coming up. We've got four affordable own brand guitars. The T-Styles, that's the whole point of that was what are the own brand guitars? We've got Harley Benton from Toman, Faisley from Bax, East Coast from Andertons, and Antiquity from PMT. And I'm sure there are more, but that's all I could fit in my shopping cart. So we're going to review those. Um, then we'll do a comparison because they're, I mean, they're broadly the same price. It's difficult to, I found it difficult to buy a Faisley for more than 100 quid, but they're between, well, you know, they're affordable anyway. So, and then we've got, we've got the PRS. So that'll be, I'm going to go into that with my eyes open and, you know, without any preconceived ideas because I, I believe that those PRS SEs are, are really bloody good guitars. And that wasn't cheap. That was, I paid 899 for it. The retail on that's around about a thousand pounds. Uh, I was stupid actually, because a, a little while ago, I had, they were on offer. I could have picked one up for 799 and I nearly did, but I just didn't because it's, it's quite, it's a bit difficult to justify spending eight or 900 pounds on the guitar that you're not, <laughs> you're not massively into, you know, it's a lot easier to buy something that you, you think, oh, I really fancy that. PRS, I couldn't, you know, <laughs> see, I'm a little bit, I'm a bit, you know. Yeah, look, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with that. We'll deal with my um, prejudices against PRS when we review it. Um, and a Kramer, you know, you can't, you can't <laughs> walk past a, a guitar like that when it's so cheap. And you've got an excuse. I've got an excuse to buy guitars, haven't I? I sold loads, so excuse to buy loads more. So the first, that was six, right? And there have been another two. The first one I unboxed last weekend on the TV channel. And that was, I suppose, really more of a purchase for me, what I call a me guitar. It wasn't expensive. It wasn't expensive for what it is, let's put it that way. Um, but it is very special, and it's a guitar that I'm, I'm very pleased that I, I bought. And uh, you've been watching it, actually, all the time. I'll show you what it is. Here it is. It looked like the, um, the Steel G, the, the Loet Le Pat, that I sold. Uh, the, I bought this to, re or to replace it on the wall. Um, you probably, you might not have noticed. It's a Maybach. Albatross 65 and um, it's bloody lovely and I'm going to review it obviously for you guys uh, fairly soon so this will be in the lineup along with the, all those others my first Maybach um, so uh, yeah I kind of thought oh that that would be good replace that I love SG Juniors as you know um, I can't see it hanging on the wall there quite as often though because it's um it's, I've, I've been playing this non-stop since i got it so um it led me to this another me purchase from the same place in in spain richard's e studio 54. um this one i'm gonna i'm gonna unbox this on the tv channel this weekend uh, i like to Save a little bit of honey for, for my supporters there. So forgive me, but you can go and you can watch it. You can sign up for 30 days free if you haven't already. There's the address. Check it out. And uh, if you want to stick around and support the guitaristas, <laughs> help make this whole thing sustainable, it's $50 a year. And there's loads of stuff like this, like the unboxing of that, um, the forum, you know, which is basically a place to... Well, you can swap pictures, share pictures of your guitars, stuff, stuff you want to buy, stuff you bought. People, you know, it's basically a, a, <laughs> a bunch of old blokes that have got too much time on their hands <laughs> talking bollocks about guitars. 
they're not all old. <laughs> it's, it's, there is a, you know, there's younger element there as well, but most of them are probably quite old. Um, so it'll probably fit you perfectly, <laughs> suit you. Check it out anyway, 30 days free. And, and I'm going to unbox this. That'll probably drop on Sunday. I'm going to film this in a minute. Uh, it'll be a fake unboxing because I've already had this open and played played it at home and and resealed it with my own sustainable packing tape. So, um, <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, I've run out of words now. Um, well, what do you reckon? Let me know in the comments uh, if you've got any experience with any of those guitars that. Because I haven't looked at those yet. I've literally just unboxed those six. So um, we're going to have a... We'll review each one in turn. And then all the T-Styles will do a proper roundup and uh, muck around with them a little bit. And um, we'll learn a little bit more about some lovely guitars. Whatever way you look at them, they're all lovely, aren't they? Some of them might be a bit rubbish. <laughs> Let's find out together. So, yeah. Join me next week. I don't know. Where am I going to start? I don't know. I ain't decided yet. Let me know in the comments uh, which of those you're most excited for me to review. And if there's a clear winner, that'll be what I'll do next week because I, I won't decide until maybe Monday. Sunday or Monday, I'll probably decide what I'm going to do next week. So let me know in the comments. And um, you won't win anything, but... You'll get to see what you like first. Or something like that, anyway. I'm going now. <laughs> I'm going to have a lie down. Thanks for watching, as usual. Come back, same time, same place, next week. And let's do it all again. Yeah, cheers for now. Ta-da.